A box changed my life. It was sitting outside apartment 29G when I came home from Starwood Elementary. My name, Freddie Ramos, was written on it in big black letters. I'd never gotten a package like this. What did you get? A deep voice asked. I looked up to see Mr. Vaslov. He had a paintbrush in his hand. Mr. Vaslov takes care of Starwood Park Apartments, and he is always fixing something. I don't know yet, I said. I can't open the box. It's taped up like a mummy. I'll look in my tool shed, Mr. Vaslov said. I've got scissors there. I followed him with my mummy box. Oh, be careful, he said as we walked. The paint is still wet. The tool shed looked bright, white, and all brand new. The last place Mom and I lived didn't have someone like Mr. Vaslov always trying to make things look nice. When big kids wrote bad words on the walls, the words stayed there a long time. Where did I put my scissors? Mr. Vaslov said. While Mr. Vaslov searched, I peeked in. I had never seen inside the tool shed. There were tables and shelves full of wires, cables, batteries, and electronic stuff. Did you take apart a billion computers? I asked. No, Mr. Vaslov laughed. Only 50. Just as I was about to ask him why he was cutting up computers, Mr. Vaslov found his scissors. We opened the box. First, we saw lots of white packing popcorn. Then we saw a sheet of purple paper. It had five words printed on it. Zapato Power for Freddy Ramos. Zapato Power, Mr. Vaslov pushed his bushy gray hair away from his face. That sounds interesting. Yeah. I turned the purple paper over, except I'm not sure what it means. Zapato? Mr. Vaslov asked. Doesn't that mean shoe in Spanish? It sure does, but what kind of power is shoe power? I dug my hands back into the white packing. This time, I pulled out two purple sneakers with silver wings on the side. Exactly what I need! Uncle Jorge is the best! I figured it was Uncle Jorge in New York. No one else mailed me presents. I put down the sneakers and looked for a signed card in the packing popcorn. That's strange, I said. Uncle Jorge always sends funny cards with his gifts. Some of the popcorn spilled on the floor while I searched the box, but Mr. Vaslov didn't complain. Instead, he leaned down to pick up the purple sneakers. Nice, he said. A lot better than what you're wearing. We both looked at my shoes. They were all torn up. Maria from next door said they looked like a dog chewed them. Mom promised to buy me new ones as soon as she paid this month's bills. Now Mom could use the money to buy something for herself. I had brand new purple sneakers with silver wings on the side. Chapter 2. I Race the Train Try them on, Mr. Vasilov suggested. See if they fit. The purple sneakers hugged my feet like they were made for me. Wow, they feel great. All right, then, Mr. Vaslov said in that voice grown-ups use when they're tired of you and ready to go back to their own stuff. Go try them out. The train should be coming by any second. I stared at him. Have you seen me racing the train? He grinned. How could I miss it? You're out there by the track every afternoon. It was true. After a long day at school, trying to sit still every time Mrs. Lane reminded me, I needed to let loose, and the train rumbled by on its overhead track, shouting, Race me! Race me! We were a mile from the station. When I heard the train coming, I spread my arms out like an airplane taking off. Airplanes can beat trains. Of course, it was just pretend, but racing made me run faster. Here it comes, Mr. Vaslov smiled as the walls of the tool shed started to shake. I waved a quick goodbye and headed out the door.